Hey, hey, hey. Debbie Debbie here. International Beauty Guide with Lime Life Biocone. Happy Friday, everyone. Happy Friday. Woo! I just put some primer on. And the reason I did that is I do not want any makeup to seep into my pores. So it's all going to stay on the top layer. Always use a primer. It smells so good, too. It's an ultra fine oil mist. Oil free mist. Oil free mist. All right. So I went and got my hair done today. Now, generally, you do not see me with my hair like this. No. You always see it with a flat iron, it's curved down. Um, I even pulled this piece back because it was a little too full for me. So I went to the hair salon and um, I just said, look, I just need a haircut today. I'm kind of in a hurry. And she's like, not a problem. And she's like, can I go ahead and curl your hair? Because I need to take photos for something I'm doing for the uh, salon. And I'm like, absolutely, sure, go for it. So she used this stuff called Pump It Up. And I believe it's by Paul Mitchell. And the reason she used that is because I use Guts 10, and I believe that's a Redken product. Um, and I can't take that on the plane with me. I'm going on a vacation uh, next week, so I can't, I can't take that with me. Um, so I asked her if she had a two ounce size of Guts 10, and she said, no, but we have Pump It Up, and it's on sale, blah, blah, blah. So I said, all right, let's see. So she sprays it out, and it's like a brown, powdery, dry product and she lifts my hair up and sprays it in that scalp you know in that scalp area then she lifts up in the back sprays it back there and um that's after she did the flat iron she did all of this with a flat iron I was like oh that's pretty cool so what I like about this pump it up stuff is even though it's underneath and it's giving me lift because I have baby fine hair because she sprayed it like it's going to allow my curls to go anywhere I want them. Look at this, guys. You Have you ever seen me with this sass? Bam. All right. Anyway, I thought it was pretty cute. I was like, all right, a little sassy, a little sassy. I don't like any frizz, so we'll make sure we turn. See, you can take this and twist it and turn it. That's it. So that's the new do just for today, guys. It's done with a flat iron and... Um, I was like, let's have a little fun. Ta-da. All right, so hopefully you guys can see this. I'm shooting for five. Hey, Crystal, how are you? I'm shooting for five. You're, supposedly, you're not supposed to type this word in Facebook. You're not supposed to say this word in Facebook. So I'm just going to hold it up for a little while. So if you guys can do me a favor, I'm shooting for five of this to happen. <laughs> with this video that I'm showing you right now, okay? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, you know, I, I went to the hair salon and she used this stuff called Pump It Up and she used the flat iron and did all this body for me, which I normally don't do. I usually just use a flat iron and bring it around my face, but even my daughter tells me, mom, you've got baby fine hair. You need, you need to, you need to do something with it, you know? So I'm like, all right, cool, I can do this, I can do this. So I want to show you guys two things before I get started. So hang on, I, I need to grab something. You're going to look at some uh, cushions on my couch. Hold on one second. All right, so I am having an event this Sunday at a local VFW. And I'm going to be, um, you know, of course, setting up my lime life and my makeup hey Peggy how you doing and all of that so um, there's gonna be a few guests there that have already talked about you know hey Deb can you have that sugar collection with you because I want to see it in person and I'm like absolutely not a problem so what is the sugar collection the sugar collection is nine gorgeous popular sweet, I'm not going to say sweet flavor, but like sweet coloring of um, enduring lip colors, lip glosses, and two lip liners. So it's a nine piece kit and uh, it's got a bunch of bling and they have mirrors on the, um, the lip gloss and the enduring lip colors. I actually have one on. So I put this on earlier. They will stay on for hours. And I actually put pressed powder over it because 
I do not want to have um, this transfer onto someone's cheek or my coffee. So when it was on, it goes on buttery, uh, buttery soft. And then I went ahead and grabbed my pressed powder, my translucent powder and dabbed it and boom. And so I was like, all right, this is cool. So it's not gonna transfer, it's not gonna get to my coffee cup or anything. Well, hello, Joey DeVille, how are you? Do you love the new do? It's only uh, ter um, temporary, it's not permanent. It's with a flat iron and some kind of pump it up stuff, you know? You spray it and it enlarges and I'm like, whoa! The curls look huge. <laughs> anyway, so that's what's happening this weekend. I'm doing an event in um, Glen Burnie. Woo woo! So if you can come on out there, that'd be great. I posted it on my page um, as a, as a, you know, what's that word, guys? What can't we say? That one. So, yeah, I know this is pretty tacky, but I'm trying to get five of you to do this. I'm just trying to get five of you to do this. Okay. So, I wanted to show you guys the new colors that I picked of the shadows, okay? They're phenomenal. They're absolutely gorgeous. This top one right here is called, first of all, what I love about them is they're named after the 1980 musics, music um, names, okay? So, this is Sweet Dreams. Then this one is Love a Boy. This one is Flash Dance. And then here comes Uptown Girl for all my Billy Joe lovers. And then we have uh, Tainted Love and then Raspberry Ber Beret. Okay, these two right here, I can really see using those as lipsticks or even blush. Um, but I'm not afraid to try putting them on my eyes either, okay? Um, but today, I really want to go ahead and use Tainted Love, and I think I'm going to go and use, um, I don't know, maybe I'll use Sweet Dreams, and then I'll put uh, Lover Boy on my eyebrows. We'll see, because my eyebrows are darker and Lover Boy is a little lighter, so we'll see how that's going to look, all right? Bam! So everybody knows me. What do I do first before I even put on eyeshadow? I prep my eyes with a concealer. And the reason I do that is because I want to make this area smooth for um, eyeshadow application. And uh, did I bring my pressed powder? Oh, no. I'm not getting up again. Okay. Well, I would usually put pressed powder over this. And that would make this a lot. A lot more like a palette for your eyeshadow to blend and just roll across okay so that's that hi Nancy how are ya so again I'm taking concealer number zero zero which is the lightest one and I'm actually using it as an eye primer eyeshadow primer and that's gonna help me to get my eyeshadow to um, lay nicely and also it's going to um, help it to, to I guess go on smoother yeah. Now, guys, you do see that I have my mascara on already and my eyeliner. The reason is when I go to the hair salon, I like to have a little pop on my eyes because when I look in the mirror and I look at my hair and I'm like, all right, looks good. I know it's silly, but that's just me. That's just me. All right. We know which brushes I'm going to use. We're going to use 20, number seven. Now, that 20 is new. This is the newest brush. It's tiny, so it allows me to get in here without touching the upper area. This is going to allow me to cover more. So number seven is the full eyeshadow brush, and number 20 is the, I call it a partial one. And then, of course, you have your pointed blender, or your um, your blending brush. Oh, hold on. What else do I need, guys? There's my pointed blender, and that's going to be like my little broom to clean off any fall off. Thanks for joining, guys. And then I have the angled brush, which is for my corners. Um, and then we'll use this for the eyeshadow. Bam! I think that's everything that I need. All right. So, ooh, we have another number seven because I have two number sevens and two number twenties. All right. First of all, I'm going to tell you something. These colors scare me because I'm fair. I'm fair. I have a fair complexion, okay? And I don't want to look like a clown, right? But anyone who knows me, I am all about getting out of your comfort zone. So don't be afraid of these colors because again, remember I told you, these can be used as lip and um, blush shades. But one of these days when I'm going out at night, I'm gonna do a video and I'll show you these guys, all right? But right now we're gonna use Tainted Love and that's gonna be my color that's going in the corner. 
All right, so let me get my anchored brush. Happy Friday, everybody. Anybody doing anything special? Okay, first of all, <laughs> I took the color. You see that? Look how pigmented. You do not need that. So make sure you brush that off or pound it off your um, end of your brush. It's still pigmented. These colors are going to go on um, pretty vibrant. So don't go crazy and trying to put a lot on, all right? And always hold your brush at the end because that will control the deep shade. And let's say, so I put it here, right? You can see that's the heaviest shade. So you wanna, if I was here, I'd be so heavy. I'd be pounding it on. You don't want that. So come back on your brush and just kind of blend it. Okay, go from the end. So this is where the heaviest shade is gonna be the heaviest color, and then go right there, all right? This color is gorgeous. This one is Tainted Love. And again, I'm getting out of my comfort zone, but this is beautiful. All right, so I can come over here in the corner. Now, if I want, I can do a little more pop, but you can see I don't need to. Sorry, I was looking over here. <laughs> um, you don't need to because look, look how gorgeous that is. Now, if it was nighttime, I would definitely do a smokier look, okay? I don't have any planes tonight, so. This girl's just gonna be cleaning her condo and maybe doing some work. Now, this is always interest interesting for me because I'm a right-handed individual. Could I be ambidextrous? Sure, but I'd probably mess up my face. <laughs> All right, so just come in the corner. That's where the heaviest point's gonna be. You see that? Okay, and then you're going to go inward. And again, this is such a beautiful color. Tainted Love, guys. And if this is a shade you like, Tainted Love is number 15. Because they number them and they name them on the website to make it easier. All right, and I am not worried about any of the fall off that I have here because I'm going to use it with my little sweeping broom, which is the, the domed uh, blender. All right, so you can see you don't need to put a lot on. They're very pigmented, and they go on nicely too. I love that. I'm going to put a little more on this side. Again, guys, remember, look at... Do you see how pigmented they are? Very light. So I'm gonna clean off my brush. And there we go. Thanks for hanging, guys. Beautiful. Yeah. So what is everybody up to for the weekend? Like I told you all, I have a, an event in Glen Burnie. So I'm excited about that. If you wanna come out and support me, my local folks. All right. That would be nice. Okay, so you guys are probably looking at this saying, oh my God, that color is just too much for you. Nah, it's not. Nah. Nope. You want to know why? Because the tool of blending is phenomenal. Phenomenal. You don't give up, okay? Now, I'm going to take number seven. And I'm going to grab, I think I'm going to grab Sweet Dreams. Okay, that's that one. And again, you don't need a lot. I'll show you on the brush. Okay. Very, very pigmented. Hey, Michelle, how are you? Thank you guys for joining. If I'm missing comments, please forgive me. I'm actually just trying these new colors that just came out. This was the six-pack palette that I picked. And uh, I decided to go out of my comfort zone because I don't like to just be the bland tan girl with cream colors, you know. I really want to expand my horizon and, and do other colors. Wow, pretty. Okay, and guess what? I really want to come in the corner on this side a little more. I'm using my Reiki mirror, guys. It's a rose gold Reiki mirror, and it provides plenty of lighting for me, and it allows me to look into another circular mirror while I'm making a video for you all. So this helps me out with application of makeup too. So if I don't look at you, that's what's happening. Wow, pretty, pretty. We're not done yet, okay? Because I know y'all are saying, Debbie, what the heck are you doing? 
Don't worry, I got this. I got this. All right, so you're gonna start blending your colors, okay? Because you don't want to see lines as to where a color begins and where a color ends. You need to blend it. Hey, Joe Rubino, how are you? Joe DeBeal, are you on here? Say hi to Joe Rubino. Okay, so you just wanna blend this stuff. There we go. And I know they might be uh, vibrant colors, but look at, look at how it's just blending. Hey, Linda, how are you? Okay, so the shades that I have, some are matte and some are shimmery. So we came out with 18 new shades and um, I can post the photo below and it will show you which ones are matte and which ones are shimmery. Now the one that I used, uh, the Tainted Love, matter of fact, I will do something really quick guys to show you, okay? Sweet Dreams, uh, let me put this down here, okay? Let me move this over and let me make sure you guys are getting enough light. And this one, let me see if I could tap that. There we go. So that's Sweet Dreams, and that is definitely um, metallic. Okay? This is Lover Boy, and that is matte. Okay? That is Lover Boy, and it's matte. This one is Flash Dance, and that is matte. Okay? This is Uptown Girl. Let me come over here. And that is metallic. So it has a shimmy, shimmy shade to it, okay? Then we have Tainted Love, which is the one I'm wearing. On my, that is definitely having a shimmer to it. And then, ready for this one? <laughs> raspberry Beret is a matte. I'm gonna give you a little more of Raspberry Beret. Sorry, guys. And let me see if I can hit my, there you go. Do you see those shades? They're gorgeous, okay? But I can post when I'm all done. Um, I can post all the shades letting you know which ones are metallic and which ones are shimmery, or um, matte. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so blend back to blending. So I have a blending brush. This side looks good. I'm not even worried about this side. This, it's gorgeous, guys. I, I love the Tainted Love uh, and Sweet Dreams combo. So don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone. It's like amazing. All right, so there's that. Now, I'm gonna clean up underneath. And remember I told you, I don't worry about um, cleanup because I have a domed brush. It's like a little broom, okay? It's dense, so it's gonna help me sweep up any extra. Clean it up, girlfriend, clean it up. And it's really light and uh, but again the dense um, feature of this brush allows you to do a cleanup so you don't have so much sitting under your eye fall off or any of that all right there we go I really like this combo again this is tainted love with sweet dreams so it's number 15 and number one all right so now I talked to you about me going in here and possibly doing Lover Boy, okay? Now you can see my eyebrows. There's, they, could, they need to be like given some love. And one time I went and uh, this lady, I don't know what she did, but like right here, it's missing some. Over here, missing some. So I'm gonna take Lover Boy. Please be careful, they're highly pigmented shades, okay? Very pigmented. And you're gonna go in nice, even strokes, just really light, guys. Just fill it in. And again, I could have probably used brownie points from our other palette, but no worries. Just fill it in. And again, you don't need a lot, guys, because if you put it heavy, hey, Nicole Marie Casa, hello, um, you're gonna have your eyes, like, you don't want your eyes to be the main focus like your eyebrows. You don't want your eyebrows to be the main focus. Your eyes should pop and your lips, okay? Don't have your foundation and your blush pop. No. That means you have way too much. Don't wanna look like a clown, guys, okay? So you're gonna just brush on 
And again, I am using Loverboy number seven. This can be used as an eyeshadow and an eyebrow fill in, okay? Um, you can probably use this as a, bronze, a bronzer too, okay? Just take your time. But again, go in strokes, fill them in, okay? Done, all right? So the other thing that I wanna do, where is my little brush? I want to, huh, where's number 20? Where's my number 20? There we go. Probably not the right brush to use, but I'm using it, okay? I'm gonna take Sweet Dreams, number one. Oh, except when you're close. How's that, Nicole? <laughs> Is that better, babe? <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Sweet Dreams, and I'm gonna come in here. Yeah, I don't wanna scare y'all. Am I scaring y'all? And I'm just gonna fill in like a light shade. That's pretty. My daughter will tell the truth. She'll be like, back off, mom, back off. Sorry, Nikki, I was just trying to show everybody the cleaning up and everything. I don't want to scare y'all. Damn. All right. There we go. Okay. Pretty cool, huh? So, again, don't be afraid of these shades. I'll post a picture below showing you which ones are shimmery and which ones are matte. Um, this is the six piece that I chose. <laughs> oh, I look so really wow okay cool i don't have a tan because i don't do the sun so um nicole you're joining late i wanted to show everybody so i went to the hair salon and uh she used this uh, optical illusion she used this stuff called pump it up and sprayed it underneath and man it just gave me so much lift and you know me nicole i don't do all this stuff it's close but you have a red hint to your face oh sweetie that's a hot flash <laughs> that is a hot flash for all of those of you who have joined let's do this again guys first of all I need five of these that's my goal I can't say this word supposedly can't type it in Facebook so it rhymes with care so if you can hit that button that would be great okay I'd appreciate it completely all right so that's that on the eyes what do you guys think not too bad right were you guys worried about how bad it was gonna look or how good it was gonna look Oh, it's backwards? Well, here, I got something for y'all. How's that? <laughs> I tried to do it. I'm going to come up with a really nice one. But yeah, yeah. All right, so there we go, guys. I'm going to use concealer number zero. You're going to put it in, in the V. And, and you're doing that instead of coming directly underneath here. Because if you come underneath here, um, you're going to... Um, okay. To do it downward, you're bringing that highlight, okay? You want it away from that area. So make it in a V, cool? And then use a blender full, or you can use um, a foundation and concealer and all of that. We have like a concealer brush. We have a foundation brush. I prefer the blender full, but I like both, but I prefer this. So then you're just gonna dab. There you go, right, Nicole? Okay, and that's going to highlight that area. Okay, also, it's not going to form creases and lines with my concealer sitting in there. So I'm pulling it away, pulling it away, and dabbing. I'm not dragging, I'm dabbing. There we go. Cool. Next thing I want to do is I want to take care of this um, age spot, this lovely age spot. We don't want people to know my age. <laughs> and then I'm going to do a little bit on my nose to take care of this redness. So you use a darker concealer for redness um, on your nose, and you're going to use the lighter concealing for highlighting. Okay, and I also have a spot right here. There we go. All right. So dab your spots first, cover your spots first, so they are not so obvious. It's really weird. I'm using a Reiki mirror, guys, and the little circle mirror. I keep looking that way, but I want to look this way towards you guys. Um, it's okay. I'm getting used to it. All right. So now that should all be taken care of. Tone down my nose. 
so it's not so bright red. Thank you, Mr. DeBeal. And thank you, Darlene Soto. Yes, guys, keep caring. I love it. <laughs> Do we have two out of five? Oh my gosh, three more people. That's it. Now, let's do our little foundation. Our foundation is wax-based, highly pigmented. The stores are 18 to 23%, 16 to 23%. You'll hear different numbers. That means what? You're going to use more. Okay? The wax base helps the makeup stay on the top layer instead of seeping into your pores, which is what you, you don't want it going into your pores. You want it to be on the top layer. Okay, so you only need a little bit. I'm going to look a little bit like I'm putting makeup on for a mask or a costume. Now, what I use with my foundation, guys, I use something called Due Date, and it's our product. And the reason I use it, yes, it will definitely help me out. <laughs> Trying to have some fun here, guys. Um, so basically, you don't need a lot. All right, I'm, we're using my hands, guys. And look, look how thin. All right. And um, it's going, hey, Michelle Miller, how are you, girlfriend? Michelle Miller's new to our team, guys. Give her a shout out. Send her some hearts. Um, anyway, so the foundation will stay on the top layer of your skin. You don't need a lot. All right. And again, just blend it, dab it with the Blenderful. I wet mine because I, I don't like a dry Blenderful. People are different. Some people like it wet. Some people like it dry. I like it wet. Now, for my neck, I am going to drag down any foundation that's on my sponge to give it the color. When we do a foundation matching, guys, we do have a quiz to help you. But what we do is we look at your jawline closest to your neck because your face can have different colors, tan, whatever. And your neck might be light beige, yellow, pink. So we need to match your foundation based on your jawline to your neck. And sometimes we'll look at your hand okay, or your arm. So we do have a quiz if you'd like to try using our foundation. Like I said, it's 50% um, pigmented, so you're not gonna need a lot. And you can see how easy that has gone on for me. Look at my eyes, I really love this shadow, guys. I love the combination that I just did. So hopefully you all do too. Hi, Michelle, how are you, girl? All right, so bam, what do y'all think? Yay, nay. I need some care in here, guys. Look, we're going to do it backwards, which should be right for you all. So I need five of you guys, okay? Just hit it, hit it, hit it. Yeah. Give me some hearts. Give me some hearts. Okay. So very light, right, guys? You only saw me use a little bit. So now I'm going to go ahead and seal it in with a setting spray. What does the setting spray do? All right. The setting spray... I'll do. <laughs> LOL redo. Um, the setting spray will allow your makeup to stay on your face with temperature control because the ingredients in here are going to cool down your face to prevent your makeup from sliding. Okay. I talked to this girl yesterday at Macy's and she is a female wrestler. And she was explaining to me that she is having such a hard time keeping her foundation and her makeup on, okay? Because she has to paint her face. She has to do whatever. And I had explained to her, you need a good primer and you need a good setting spray. You start with the primer to get your makeup to stay on the top layer and then you seal it in with the setting spray. So needless to say, she got my business card because she was all excited. So anyway... Setting spray, guys, will seal it in up to 16 hours. The ingredient in there will cool down your temperature because our face gets hot. You know, we get hot, and we don't want our foundation to slide. We don't want our makeup to slide. And you will not have to reapply your eyeshadow, your foundation, your blush, nothing. Now, I want you guys to think about what I just said, blush and foundation all of that. I didn't put any blush on, right? I just sealed my face. I did foundation, concealer, done. You don't always have to put blush, bronzer, highlighter, all of that on. You don't need to do all that crazy stuff all the time. But if you do, hey, Lynn. Woo, come on, Lynn. Hit that care button. <laughs> so that's what I did. I used our spray and stay collection. Hey, Robin, how are you? Welcome back from your vacation, right? 
Hopefully you had a great one. Um, so the Stay and Spray Collection, that is the primer and the setting spray. Both of these combined are gonna help your makeup stay on and it's gonna be vibrant. And it's also gonna protect your skin from overheating and having makeup uh, mishaps, which you don't want. All right, so just to recoup, guys, we went over our beautiful six shades that I chose out of the newest 18. And I'm gonna post below what is a metallic and what is a matte. So what's shimmy and what's matte. Um, I also used our concealer and our foundation. So I did a lightning and, um, you know, kind of highlighting or highlighting under here and then hiding my age spots. And then our foundation, which I really, really love. Okay, guys, that's it. So, did we get five? Can somebody tell me if we got five? Did we get five? I need five. I need five. Just five. Do we have five? Come on, we got to show everybody my new do. <laughs> so, anyway, let me see if I've missed any comments. Yes, did Lynn represent yet? Oh, come on, I need two more, guys. Can somebody hit that care button? <laughs> So let's see. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Darlene. Um, I need somebody on the Chicago side to represent and hit that uh, lovely button. I'm not allowed to say that word or type that word supposedly because it affects my algorithm with Facebook. And Lord knows I work really hard to keep everything up and going on Facebook so I don't want to lose it. So, oh, hey, while we're waiting for two more people to hit that care button, this is the liquid eyeliner. Okay. I'm not a liquid eyeliner user, but since I got the product, I was like, I'm gonna try this, all right? So now you see my eyeshadow, looks amazing. If I wanted to, I could add a little pop along the lid of my eye, okay? Now I'm not gonna look at you guys because I don't wanna mess it up, okay? So bear with me. It's really easy and it's a um, feather, uh, not feathers, but it's like hair. Look guys, you can tell I don't do it, right? Look at how easy. I'll clean it up, don't worry. So it goes on really light. It's hairline, it's like hairs. Let me hit that really quick. Um, sorry guys, did that work? I think it's the lighting. There you go. So it's hairs on the tip and that's it, really light. Now I'm gonna come over here. Again, I'm not gonna look at y'all cause I'll probably mess it up. There we go. It is smudge proof and it dries instantly, instantly. Liquid eyeliner, we do not carry a pencil. We only carry a liquid. So this baby is phenomenal. Anybody's interested in anything that I just showed you, let me know. Do we have those other two guys? I'm trying to check the comments. Did we get our Chicago to represent? Hey there, Darlene, I have three. Oh. Three. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, it's okay. It's okay. I tried. At least I got three shares. It would be nice to get five. So all my replay watchers, if you guys would be um, so helpful. Did I say the word? Mm. <laughs> Just do it. Just hit the button, okay? Um, and again, if, if eyeliner is something that's new to you, try it. Like me, you see my hand shaking, right? It's new for me but I don't give up. I'm gonna try everything and have fun with it. All right, so you, everyone, you, I almost said the G-U-Y-S because I've been saying it a lot. Um, let me know what you think of the eyeshadows and let me know if you have any questions and I will respond as soon as possible. Thanks and have a great day. Love y'all.